Hello, today I am reviewing a new Xerox mobile scanner I received and I am going to do the big job of scanning hundreds of old family photos to digitize them and I have um, looked through the directions and it comes with a nice uh, installation guide. It's on a one sheet poster size instruction printed in uh, several different languages and it's, it's it uh, also has something really cool on here. It tells you with images the quick installation things, so you don't have to read a really long owner's manual, which is helpful for me. So um, for doing this, I already charged it eight hours using the wall outlet. Um, it's really handy because it comes with this great little case here. And look at this. Um, depending on you know what type of country outlet are standard what country's outlets are standard you can switch these out so if you're traveling internationally this is really helpful um, it also has a calibration sheet included which is great so so after you've charged it at least eight hours you unplug it from the back it does come with an SD card a four gig of course you could buy a bigger one um, but it's a good good to start off with that you have it Excuse me, it just pops right in. And um, this cord is the USB cord that you could um, connect it to your computer with. So um, to start off, now that it's been charged for eight hours, I can begin using it. And you can put all the little things in the storage case. Now, um, after you scan pictures, you can use the installation disk, but I have learned a lesson with installation disks. They don't always have the most up-to-date, up-to-the-second, software. So I would advise you go onto the website for Xerox and you just download the driver installation or whatever from directly from the website. I have a different scanner that I use that's more appropriate for just documents, not photographs, and it's small and portable. It's also Xerox and I found that the website was the very best way to download the, the um, you know, information instead of using the disk. Okay. So you can scan anything from 2 inches by 2 inches to approximately 8.5 by 11.6 or so. So it'll do a full size sheet if you'd like. And it's going to automatically crop the scan image to the width and height of the item that you scan. Um, and to put items in, you put them in face up. Now it says to press and hold down the power button for 3 seconds to um, turn on the scanner. One, two three okay the green lights on and uh, once you do that then you put the item in and also there's a cycle button here if you look at it you press the functions button to cycle through the scanners three different options the scanner scans at um, 300 dpi which is resolution for each function and this one has a little picture of um, a camera so that one's good for color JPEG images the second one, it says for black and white PDF images. And then the third button, if you're going through and cycling through, that one's for the color PDF images. So since I'm doing photos, I'm going to scan it this way. And it says face up into the feed slot, align it to the left um, side of the scanner. And when it's finished, it's going to be saved onto a memory card. What I really like this is um, it also refers you to the iFi chapter on the scanner's user guide and it gives you, it's either on this disk or you can get it online at xeroxscanners.com and um, you can configure it to transfer the images wirelessly which is helpful so you don't really need to use um, a USB cord unless you want to. It does have that feature on the back you can connect by USB. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan some images, and then I'm going to go and um, work with the software, and I'll report back in. I've got so many images. I've got this beautiful picture right here. It's getting old, and it's got wrinkles in it. Um, this is of my mother-in-law as a baby. I love this. So I'm going to put that in. Face up. Scan it through. I've got pictures of, this must be from about 25 years ago, my husband and his grandmother who's since passed away. 
I'm making a photo album for my mother-in-law as a gift. They are celebrating um, their wedding anniversary coming up and 50 years. This is a picture of my mother-in-law. She must have been, I'm going to guess, about 14 or 15 years old here. And here's a picture of her as a young girl, I would say about 10 years old. Uh, three generations. Uh, my mother-in-law and her mother and um, my sister-in-law. This is great. I'm just going to keep scanning. Oh, my mother-in-law is a young woman. I would say she's probably early 20s here. And this one's on a really thick backing. Let's see if it handles that. Okay. Oh, I accidentally started to feed it in. And, it, and then I took it back out. Let's try it again. Okay. Uh, this picture says 1970 on it. Oh my, look at that. Wow. That's my mother-in-law and um, her sister, her mother, her father. All kinds of... Oh, this is um, this is my husband as a baby. This is on, on like a double thick glued together piece. I hope the scanner can handle this. This is a thick piece. Oh good, it's taking it, even though it's a very, very thick, probably double or triple thick. Here's an old Polaroid. Old school Polaroid. It handles that. Okay, this is great. I'm just gonna go through, and this is something I could take with me when I go visit some family, that out of town family and I can scan all those old photograph albums. My grandmother has photo albums and they're not allowed to leave her house. She won't let, let them out of her sight. But I could go through each page and take out carefully take out the images and I can go through and scan them all and have digital images for everybody in the family. I can make Facebook albums, I can make digital photo books. Huh, it's my sister-in-law. She looks like she's about eight or nine here. That's fabulous. 1974. This is a picture of my mother-in-law and her mother on her communion day. Wow. First communion picture. This must have been, I'm going to guess, um, early 50s, mid-1950s. There you go. So far, so good. I haven't played around with the software yet, but I will report in on my review with the software, how the software works. Thank you.